Okay, sorry about that. My husband wanted to say good night. Uh, let's see. Let's do these. One three and three quarters. One four and a quarter. Quarter. My desk is getting messy. Okay. So, we put our 3 8 inch tape here. I guess it's getting messy. I got to clean this week. So, it's going to go like that. So, we're going to open it up. Let me empty this. So we're going to clip our corners. So we're going to start again. And yes, I know this is, you got trucks going on top of the animals, but that's okay. Start with this outer one. Slow it down. I'm doing something a little different with the hiding or the spine hiding piece. I'm doing a stripe just to add a little more interest. And because I didn't realize I would be picking the blue paper <laughs> when I did this. There we go. Then we go on the inside. cars in. All right. So 
So I'm going to peel that off. Get that generous eighth, almost a quarter of an inch away from the scores. Open it up. I got this little piece of striped. Just to make a little more contrast. Put that on. That. Okay, and then we need to make one more waterfall. So I don't think I have big enough pieces here. Maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. I might have used it. So we're going to do the same as the back one. Four and a quarter. Whoops. Maybe six. Just four and a quarter. Okay. Whoops. Might help if I cut these too, right? strips left over so something I got one two three four I think need eight more all right let's get these scored then like I said the mats I'm just gonna cut to size around the corners um I have a photo punch that punches a rounded corner. So I'm going to use those, that on those, uh, simply because rounded corners usually go in better. So let's get this, these taped. Okay. 
So let's get this on here. Here we go. Again, just lay these. Some people do them the opposite way. This is how I do them. There's all kinds of ways to make waterfalls. <clears throat> I almost considered making a flipping waterfall in here, but changed my mind. Okay, the rat rose. Almost done. Seems like after you do each little piece, you gotta clean up. So let's get this punched. I got this punch up on Amazon. I'm real happy to see it because I have my round one, and that's a Fiskars. And, um, Saw so this one. I don't even remember what brand it is. <laughs> that bad. It's like you can't find a punch that to do this like this anymore. Might look to see if they have another one and buy it just as a backup. And I need eight more. So ooh, that's one now. Just want to stripe. See what I got on scraps. One inch by four and a quarter.
Okay. I'm using other glue pot off. Clean that one. Again, I'm just going to put these down and I'm going from front to back and then back to front. Um, it just makes it easier and um, gluing. And like I said, I like simple. This and this is a very simple album. Because when you look at it, there's no super embellishments on it. Um, there. Do something for the cover. Do that next. Usually the tags are the last thing I do. I may do a fold over, um, a little folder for the main pockets. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Let's do some regular mats for the big pockets or the pocket page the pockets on the the, the, the vertical pockets. <laughs> I'm getting tired.
so I'm glad to be getting this done so that she can have it. And it can even be mailed out before Christmas if she wants. Though she said there was no hurry on it. I don't like those ones. Because then when if you take your time doing it, you feel like, who? When do they want this? I've got one too many. And that's all right. I'll use the trucks. Okay. There we go. That's the back. Excuse me. this the cover in this one this one here Again, I'm putting it a little more closer to the outer edge um, so that there's more room here. Okay, there we go. There's that. Now, with the cover. Let's see what I got. Nope. <laughs> I love to do that. Let's see what I can do. It says you are our greatest adventure. There has to be a way I can cut it. Might work. Mm. It's too big. Too big, I mean, it's too wide.
I'm just trying to get this to fit and look right. I might go and get something else. Oh. You know what? Hold on a minute. I got some stickers to go with this. Get an idea. <clears throat> These are Mambi chips. See, there's the elephant. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I can do something with this. All right. You see here, I got these. Let's do some fussy cutting. I have to find my scissors. There. I gotta clean up my desk. Um, let's do these two metal ones. So I'm just going to fussy cut around these mountains. They say when you turn a curve, if you turn the paper and not your scissors, it actually works out better. It does kind of. Okay. Here's my box. It's going to be a little too big, so I'm going to have to cut these mountains down. Oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> There's always a way. I need to put something underneath this so it holds, sits up. Okay, I'll put that one there. Okay, that will work. Now, I saw these and I thought, oh, they're perfect for that paper because they're also by Mambi, my me and my big ideas. So um From the bottom. <laughs> okay. But I like these hearts. I could have just opened the bottom. <laughs> I got a little excited here.
there's another one in here. I'm going to try a couple of them. Um, there's this one, You're My Greatest Blessing, and I couldn't use the mountains. Um, but that would be all right. Take off the mountains. That one here. Put that there. I'm gonna put a couple hearts. Bingo! <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> See, it's simple. Because I've got this background here. And yeah, they have a glue on the back, but sometimes it doesn't hold up the best. So let's go with the red heart. I'll place that right there. Okay, I think that's good. Simple. Um, now on the pages where I have nothing, I am going to put a couple of these. One of them I'm going to put the elephant. Now I'm going to put him on foam. These aren't quick sticking to their plastic barrel. Maybe it is a good thing I decided to. But I'm going to use the um, elephant and the owl. Let's see here. Come on, foam tape. Okay. Nice thing about foam tape is you can cut it. And I'm just a couple pieces. I should put them better so that they can pop the picture behind there. Okay, let's put you there. Put you there, okay. So, uh, no, he blends in too much. We'll put him there. Then we'll take the owl. Put him on. Oops. This one. Put him there. Yes, I know. Cars and owls will be. Uh, <laughs> and then on the pockets. They've got cute little ones that I can use. Um, like this, just born. And 
it's just something small. Uh, you are loved. And I'm placing them on opposite sides. Like this one I placed here, this one I placed here. And the reason for that is so that they don't um, uh, you don't have one side kind of go boom. Let's like this bundle of joy. Um, love my little guy. And again, I'm just placing them um, so that um, one side doesn't get too puffy. Okay, and then I'll do a big one on the last one. Like that. Okay. So really the only thing left are the tags. And I mean, um, the tags are just cut to the size needed for the okay, um, pockets. I'll give you some measurements here. Let me put these away so I don't lose them. Because I think I have enough of that Mambi paper to make another one. See, these are very sticky. That's why I was adding glue to them. Because they're not really staying on this plastic sheet. And I understand that maybe done with a purpose. It's annoying. Okay. So I got that done. My first idea didn't work. Oh well. That is okay. That's what happens. And sometimes your first idea doesn't work. It just looked a little too much on that page because I went with that paper that I did. That's why. All right. Um, so for my tags, for these pocket tags, I'd make them like four inches by six. And I'd make two of them. And just like I did with the mats, I'd probably just put a strip, but a wider strip. Um, uh, I probably go with a two and a half inch strip. So these would be four by six. Now the pock the large pocket one, oops, I want my ruler. What I generally do is I slide my ruler in. Now if I do seven inches. They'll stick out just a little. And if I do the, um, I think I can get away with four and seven eighths, maybe even five. Uh, four and seven eighths, or even four and three quarters. Um, I'd go a little small on these pockets. But again, like I said, um, it depends upon what fits in your pocket. 
so so this one is I'd call it pretty much done all I need are the mats and um, she can have it so this is how I create a baby mini album, especially when it's one I've done before because this one didn't take as long as it normally does simply because I've used a pattern I, ha I had written down, created before and um, that helps a lot because all I did was turn it so that rather than having the um, tags come out this way, they're coming out of the top and that's the difference and I think that's part of why it went so quickly to um, make because it took about four hours maybe a little more four and a half um, and yes I do have scraps I'm trying to get together so I can put them in a baggie so that if I use this color paper again I can use up my scraps. I try and use up my scraps. So there comes a point in time when you gotta say forget it and check it. So I'm just kind of cleaning up my desk a little bit. There we go. There we go. Putting things away. Which is something I really gotta do. I don't know about anybody else, but I get in here and I get working and it seems like everything goes everywhere. But this is, so you saw my process for making um, a baby mini album. And it actually turned out quite cute. I hope she likes it. But I, I really like to do simple um, plain and simple is my mantra. Yeah, I should take that outside edge. Maybe I forgot to take off the tape. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, so tomorrow if you want to watch, I'll have a tutorial up on how I do my recipe albums, which is a little different from everybody else's. Um, it's not a brand new idea. It's just my spin on it. So thanks for watching. <laughs>